If you're currently overwhelmed with emails, do what I did and just get an AI to do it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a browser extension that speeds up replying to emails dramatically. And it's really straightforward, so I just wanna jump straight into it. So let's get straight into it. First thing you're gonna do is go to textcortex.com. You're gonna click add to browser. Then you're gonna see add to Chrome, add extension. So now I'm just gonna show you a couple of examples. So this is a fake email I sent to myself. In the email it says, hey, we're doing a survey to find out how much you enjoy being at this university. Could you please help me by writing something that explains what you like and do not like? Thanks, your classmate. And I've been sent these before. They're boring, they're dry. You don't wanna to be too, uh, too blunt. So what I'm actually gonna do is click on quick AI reply feature. And then from here, you just have to write a couple things you wanna say, and then AI will just expand upon it. So let's say for example, I like the classmates and learning together. I dislike all the writing as I feel like I prefer coursework, which is hands-on. So what I wanna do is just generate. So as you can see here, when I generate it, it says, hi there, I'd be happy to help you with your survey. From my experience, I really enjoyed being at this university because of my classmates learning together and sharing ideas is always a great experience. However, I have to say, I'm not a big fan of all the writing assignments. I prefer coursework that's more hands-on and interactive. I hope this helps and good luck with your survey. So as you can see, it just looks a lot more professional, friendly, everything like, um, I'm, I'm like that. And if you don't like this reply and you wanna go with a different approach, as you can see, it's got presets here. It actually analyzes the email and gives you some ideas of how you can reply. So for example here, it says compose detailed feedback, decline politely, share positive experiences. Let's say you're just not feeling it, you don't wanna to speak to them. I'm gonna decline, the, uh, I'm gonna decline politely. As you see here, thank you for reaching out to me. While I appreciate your interest in my thoughts about the university, I'm afraid it won't be able to help you with your survey. I have a lot on my plate right now and I'm not sure if I have the time to provide a well thought out response. I wish you all the best of luck with your projects and hope you'll be able to get the best information you need. Best regard. So let's say I wanna go with this one. I click use this. It puts it in here. I can just add my name and click send. And that's pretty much it with the reply feature. But if you're thinking, okay, well, I don't actually write like that, don't worry you can actually add something that's called a persona. And I think this is what makes Text Cortex really good is you can actually train the AI to speak like you. So they would not be able to tell if it's you or an AI that wrote it. So as you can see, the base persona is called Xeno, the assistant. Uh, you've got loads of uh, presets here. So copywriter, product manager, therapist. Um, but what you probably wanna do for this is uh, add your own. and you'll go to create your individual persona, persona name. So as you can see here, I just need to fill in my details. I put in Roman, uh, what I wanna use this academic life. Um, and again, like you can scroll through this and see what's best for you. So the persona background is actually really important because it tells the AI more context about who you are as a person so it can understand how to talk like you better. So what I put is Roman is a student at the University of London, a young male who likes to talk like he's texting because I wanna use this persona to talk to my friends. And in the persona description, this won't actually affect the generation, but it's just for your own reference. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna to go to the next step. So I can add my tones. I'm gonna put humorous. Yeah, so I, I want it to be easy to read, sense of length. I'm gonna keep it very short. And then voice, I, I wanna be active because I feel like I'm pretty active. I'm gonna apply it, set as, so then I'm gonna set it as the default. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the text samples and write in how I would respond to an email so it knows even more how to speak. So now we're gonna go through the email and try the response again to show you. So we're gonna go back to quick reply feature. Um, I'm gonna go down to persona, change it to Roman, and then I'm gonna share positive experiences. As you can see already, it starts off a lot more casual. It starts with, hey there, sure, I can help you out with that. As a student at this university, I've gotta say, I'm having a pretty awesome time. The campus is beautiful, the professors are helpful, and the student life is thriving. So yeah, a lot more casual than the first one. Doesn't really sound as much like an AI. And again, like more phrases like, as for the not so great stuff, I can't really think of anything major, blah, blah, blah. 
So, so that's pretty much most of it. I can go into more in depth about how you can make your persona better. All the links to the extension, the website, and everything I've went over in this video will be in the description. But other than that, have a good one. I've been Roman from Text Cortex. Goodbye.